Hey folks, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make delicious creamy potato salad. You're going to need five medium sized red potatoes. Here are the seasonings that we're going to be using that aren't many. Salt, pepper, and we're going to be garnishing it with paprika. You're going to need yellow mustard, sweet relish, and Hellman's mayo. Get Hellman's. It's the best mayo out there. You're also going to need some large sized eggs. All right, so make sure you have some eggs. What you're going to do is you're going to chop up an onion, a green bell pepper, and some celery. So you're going to peel your red potatoes and we're going to dice them up we're going to boil you them the way that i cut my potatoes is three times lengthwise and four times widthwise and i'm using this little steak knife because i am very scared of big chef knives so don't talk about my little knife there <laughs> so you're going to chop your potatoes up like that and then dice them into small side squares like that right there okay and that's the way you want your diced potatoes to look so we're going to add them to a pot of water going to fill the pot up halfway with water we're going to add our potatoes all right and you can boil you your eggs separately or you can boil you them along with the potatoes. I just go ahead and put them in with the potatoes. My grandma used to hate that. So if you want to boil you them separately, you can do so. But I just put them right on in there with the potatoes. All right. We're going to be using four eggs. We're going to place this over high heat and we're going to let them cook until the potatoes are fork tender and then once they are done you're going to drain them in your colander like that there and we're going to wait till these bad boys cool off and then we're going to crack the shell of our eggs but we're going to let that cool off all right so i let it cool off for about a half an hour speed up the process you can place your eggs and potatoes in a freezer help it cool off quicker you want to dice your eggs like that and i like to dice my eggs into really small sides pieces like that there and yes i do add the egg yolk to my potato salad it helps it stretch it stretches the potato salad you want to get a big mixing bowl and you're going to add your cooled potatoes to the mixing bowl Okay, and I'm going to show you guys how I do this. I'm going to show you guys how I combine all my ingredients when making potato salad. I'm going to add the eggs. Okay, so add your eggs. And then you're going to add your vegetables. Your diced celery, your green bell peppers, and your onions. And you're going to give that a stir, blend all of that in. So I like to stir this in first before adding the seasonings. All right. Some people just add everything at once and then give it one big stir. But I like to stir in the vegetables and the eggs first. Now, for my recipe, we're going to be using some sugar. You don't have to add sugar. But many people love a little sugar in that potato salad or in their salads in general it really gives it a great flavor and taste it does not make it sweet it gives a great taste you don't want to add it you don't have to we're going to go ahead and add our salt okay but yeah the sugar is an optional ingredient And then you're going to add your black pepper. And we're not going to be adding too much of that. 
okay and then we're going to give all of the seasonings a stir stir those in really well and the reason i do this is i guess because in my mind it allows the potato salad to be well seasoned i feel like if you add the condiments to the conda stop the seasoning from getting all over the potato salad so i like to make sure that all of the potato salad is well seasoned first before adding the condiments for the exact measurements that i'm using time and other detailed instructions check this recipe out on phillyjcooking.com okay all the information that you need to know can be found there okay gonna add your mustard you're gonna add your relish the mustard just gives it a little color okay and flavor okay and now we're going to add our Hellman's mayo okay now when making potato salad you do want to add a nice amount of mayo because with any salad that you make whether it's tuna macaroni salad seafood salad when you sit it in the refrigerator to chill it's going to stiffen up and it's going to absorb the mayo or whatever you're putting in it so that's why you want to make sure that you put a lot of mayo in your potato salad because the potatoes are going to absorb the mayo and it's going to be rather dry and then you're going to have to end up adding more mayo okay so you don't want to add too much i see some people make potato salad and their potatoes are floating in mayo you don't want to add that much all right but the amount of mayo that i added will be on my website okay in the full recipe description so make sure you add a nice amount of mayo i just want to tell you guys that it may look like it's too much, but you want it to be nice and wet because it's going to stiffen up when we put it in the refrigerator. Okay? So that's the way you want your potato salad to look nice and creamy and delicious. And then we're going to garnish it with some paprika. This potato salad is absolutely delicious. It is some of the best. I said the best potato salad that you're ever going to taste. Don't nobody make potato salad like Philly Boy J. They just don't. I said nobody make potato salad like Philly Boy J. And listen, if you can find somebody, I will pay you. I'll pay you to find somebody to make potato salad like Philly Boy J. Look at that potato salad. It's absolutely delicious. You guys are going to love it. I let my friends have some, and they was like, Jay, that potato salad was bumping. I got to get the full recipe. And as you can see, this is hours later. The potato salad kind of stiffen up. You see how it stiffen up a bit? After allowing it to sit in the refrigerator to chill. That's why you want to make sure that you add a nice amount of mayo. Alright. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. This potato salad is absolutely delicious. As I said. It's really, really good. I don't know how your mama make potato salad or your grandma make potato salad. But a lot of people think that you got to add a lot of stuff to potato salad for it to come out good. No, you don't. Try this recipe out. Use the ingredients that I told you to use. Follow the recipe to a T. Again, it will be on my website. And you guys, I promise you, you're going to love it. And you're going to start making potato cider like this from this point forth. Philly Boy J. Peace.